So this is a video of the uh, welder performance qualification bin specimen uh, that's in the picture. So this is a 3 eighths of an inch plate. The wire that I'm going to stick in here to allow for reference is going to be an 035 piece of MIG wire. I know that that is 3.75 thousandths bigger than a 30 second. Um, I understand that. And we'll, we'll use a little bit of leeway. So this first discontinuity here that we see, that was on the specimen before it was bent. That's undercut. But even if we count it, we're going to count it as, we'll count it as maybe 364. But I'm going to go ahead and write it down that it's undercut. Go over here. Here's three other discontinuities. And if you notice, this is actually four now that I look at it. One here, one over here. So both of those say they're a 30 second. And you could lump that together as one if you wanted to, but for the sake of being the picky inspector, I'm going to call that two more 30 seconds. Even though in reality, it doesn't measure a 16th in any direction, but because it's two separate ones, we're going to call it a 16th of an inch cumulative so far, or 16th plus 364. This area down here, this is undercut. And if you look closely now, you can actually see there's still ripples there. That area right there is also undercut. And that one's undercut. So this is that main cluster of porosity that was shown in the specimen before. So it looks like right here, there's the 32nd. Like right there is the 32nd. Here, these are all joined. And I would estimate this at 330 seconds. And some might say it's closer to an eighth, and it very well may be. Uh, it's not an eighth, though. Let's just call it an eighth. Okay, just for the sake of want to reject this, this spell as well, just because we're the inspector. So we'll add the eighth in right there. This discontinuity right here, I'd say it's actually less than a 30 second, but we're gonna go ahead and add it because we're the inspector, we're the ever powerful inspector. These right through here, these three, those are all non-relevant. This one right here, I'd say is less than a 30 second. I think I already got that one. No, I don't remember if I got that one. We're gonna just go ahead and add it. Add one more 30 second. So let me see what I got here to add up. got 1964 which is still less than 3 eighths of an inch
Again, yeah, not a you know not a big deal, but I would imagine some people look at the picture and say, "Oh, that dude fails." So that little line right there, some folks might even fail. That's just an undercut. We're allowed to have a thirty-second of an inch undercut. The undercut was measured before the specimen was even cut. Let's get down here a little bit closer and look at the guts in here. So there's the cluster of porosity. It's a little bit better to look at, maybe. Where's my highly calibrated TIG wire again? Not TIG wire, MIG wire. Let me actually have a scale. I could actually measure that with a scale. Precision Stanley tape measure here. Those two aren't joined, so I can't count those. Now, looking at it with the naked eye, it might be easy to say, oh, that's right at an eighth of an inch. So I rounded it up to an eighth, it's actually less than an eighth. We're pretty good. Just figured I'd I'd address this and put it out there for somebody to look at. They may be interested. Let's see how close the camera will get. This is a little cheap. Five megapixel microscope microscope. That's the the big three thirty seconds or one eighth. We'll see. We'll stick the wire in there and see what we see. Oops. And then just a little bit more. So it really is actually closer to 3.30 seconds, but I called it 8. So the weld still passes according to the acceptance criteria of D1.1. There's another one right here. So that one's definitely bigger than the 30 second. Those two are not, they're not joined. Focusing this thing is a little bit of an adventure. Whenever you touch it, the whole thing moves. Anyway, that's kind of it right there.